During the past year, more than 40 people have been killed trespassing on the railway. You think they'd hear an oncoming train and get out of the way. So why are so many losing their lives? Let Hello, hello, hello. My name is MPD. I've done it wrong, but it doesn't matter. I'm the Dunder King, and I'm here to talk about a children's card game with my dear friends Janelle and Talpa. How are you doing, guys? Good. How are you, Dan? I'm good. Well, I'm a bit upset that I did my own fucking intro wrong. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, well. Okay, I've got another show that I can do on there, so I can get twice the chances in a week to do it right. What happened to your sunglasses? Um, I took them off so that I could read my computer, and then, uh... I thought your nerd glasses were supposed to make it easier to read your computer. Um, well, yeah, but they sort of, they hug my face, and it gets uncomfortable at the temple area. <laughs> okay, then. So, uh, I don't wear them when I don't need them. Um, but basically what I'm saying is I'm a whiny bitch, but it's okay, because children's card games, that's what we're here to talk about, not my... Uh, amazing sense in eyewear fashion. Does that mean I can't ask Talthar how he's doing? No. No I one didn't cares. Know any of you cared? We don't. <laughs> Good. I don't want you to. Good, because right, at least we're on the same page. So, did anybody else notice that we're level thirty? We're not even max level on the stream. No, that's our health, John. That's our health. Oh, is that those are. Yeah, I was like. I thought that was our level. <laughs> No, because when uh, when the uh, overlay was made, I was like, Pride, can I have 29 health? And he told me it was too much work, so no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. All right, so, if you didn't already figure it out, we're here to talk about Hearthstone. We have no show news this week, except that we still would really like you guys to submit some Q&A. So we have no Q&A this week. We're sad. Yeah, yeah. jerks. Get on the forums, <laughs> emails, Twitter, all the but things. Not, but not to me, especially to Dunn. We're gonna start off with our news and blues. There was a patch. The official patch went through last wait, week. Wait, what? What? There was a patch. What? Oh. <laughs> there was a wipe. There was a patch, and the one wipe sec, went one through. One sec. Did they take my goblin <laughs> to <look> away? <laughs> yeah, it's just yours, Dan. Yes, Dan, they took your goblin mech dork. Oh no, I dropped my tickle me, Dalek. Uh. <laughs> Dalek misses goblin, uh, Gelbin the mech dork. No, you didn't yes. lose your go Gelbin mech dorks, anybody who thinks Dan is serious. Uh, Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> Everything we went over last week about the upcoming patch came true. Shocking. There are only a few extra patch notes that we need to tell you guys about. The animations for Secrets and Fatigue have been sped up. So, have you guys seen the new Fatigue animation? No. I usually don't get to that point. Yeah, uh, the Secrets animation is just the same and fast, but faster. Yeah, is saying it's saying it's exactly like the same as well. I didn't actually notice the secrets one was faster until I read this. <laughs> Though I guess you guys didn't notice either? 
Nope. Uh, I, I noticed it was a little faster, but I didn't think anything of it. All right, we also have the cards now have flavor text. All of them do. If you don't know how to find this flavor text, you have to go into your collection, right-click on the card, and then you view the card on the upper right side of the screen. You see the flavor text and who did the art for the card. There's some pretty funny ones if you want to check that out. Spell power. What? Oh, just I approve of flavor text. Flavor text is amazing. Yes. Yes. Spell power plus one has been renamed spell damage plus one. So if you were wondering what the hell happened to your spell power, it's still there. It just makes more sense now because spell power sounded like it would affect healing, and it doesn't. Yeah. Heroes can be unlocked in any play mode, play arena, or practice. So if you clear with the mage, this default, and you play your friend who's unlocked a priest, and you beat them, you unlock the priest. If you do the same in a play mode, you unlock that hero. So it's a lot easier. You don't have to practice against every single class now. Hooray! So they've made it a lot easier to get through all the tutorial crap. Yeah. Um, lastly, you can click on chat bubbles to respond, which is something you couldn't do before. And the first day of Hearthstone, I was very confused. <laughs> so I tried and your roleplays are very confused. <laughs> yes, I know. It's not difficult to confuse me, but I was still confused. I kept... Biggie was talking to me, and Necro was talking to me, and I couldn't talk back to them. And I couldn't figure it out, so I made them talk to me in Skype. <laughs> But, yeah, that makes sense. So, we're not going to do the list of all the card fixes, because there was, was... A ton. Was, yes, a ton. We're only going to do six, so if a card you were interested isn't on the list, check out the package notes, that's where you'll see all of them. Done. You wanted to tell us about Questing Adventurer. I did. Questing Adventurer, everyone's favorite adventurer, <laughs> uh, is now a rare quality card. This means, basically, he's going to be slightly more common, easier to get from a booster pack, and cheaper to make with dust. So now you, can, you have no excuse not to have at least seven. They nerfed it, basically. Um, our producer's just whispering in my ear. Wasn't he a common before? I'm fairly sure he was a rare before. No, he was a common. Was he? Yeah. Oh, in that case, he's going to be harder to get. Yeah, they're trying to make it harder. <laughs> I, I could have swore he was, because if he was a common, he was an insanely good card. Yeah. Yep. Ah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm having a one-sided conversation that uh, that our listeners can't. But I thought it's because like he like Questing Adventurer was like a kill on site card. People were like, well, this sucks now, so they just put it down to no, whatever. Kill blue. on site means it's a really good card. Yeah, but if it's always killed on site, then it's a shit card because you never get to use it. No, then you need to learn how to use it better. Whatever. <laughs> learn how to protect it. All right, Twilight Drake is one of the cards I picked. It's now a 4-1 with the Battle for Cry gain plus one health for each card in your hand. This is real. I, I played it in Priest decks. It's not as good in all the other decks, but I got this card out and turned it into a 6-6 six, six after a warrior destroyed all my creatures. So it's good in a Priest deck. But everybody else is not going to enjoy this card as much as they used to. I hit one that was a 7-7. Seven, seven. That was not fun. Yeah, so the uh, next card is the Frostwolf uh, Warlord, which um, was a 4-4. Four, four, and when you summoned it, for however many minions are on the field, it got a plus one, plus one bonus to it. Um, they have changed it from an ongoing effect to just a battle cry. So the first time you summon it, so if you summon it, there's like, you know, it's the only one out, you're not going to get a bonus at all. If you summon more minions. So everyone take it out of your decks now. I mean, it's still a good card, just it's not as good. Nah. Yeah, well, I mean, nah. 
I like the yeah. ongoing effect. Yeah. It it definitely it could they could have done something with it like where it was only attack or something, but that would still be pretty powerful. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So that's what happens when I stop leading you guys around. All right. Sorry. I was distracted. So, sorry, that's what happens when you what? Sorry? <laughs> leading you guys around. That's not what I heard. Show notes. That's not what I heard. <laughs> oh, well. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll stop being distracted so we stay on point. Light You're speed. the most distracted podcaster. Yeah, and it's going to be a difficult... <laughs> difficult... Uh, but... We'll see. And move on to Light Spawn. Right. That's the card. The other card I picked, it has one more health for the same cause. So now you've got a 5-5 five, five for 4. Fucking epic. I'm so happy they buffed this card. Bullshit. There's no need for that. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> Whatever. You're just cranky because you don't have a 5-5 five, five for 4. That's exactly the problem. <laughs> yep. Well... Talithar's going to tell us about Starfall, anyway. Yeah, so Starfall, everyone's favorite druid card, now no longer affects the uh, enemy hero. So if you ever were pissed off and wanted to kill something after a druid was just like, eh, Starfall, and killed you and all your minions, it uh, won't do that anymore. It only affects minions now. Did the yes. two moon free hours? Is that what you're bitching about? Yes, that is that is what he's bitching about. He wants the bird in the middle. Now, now up a bit. Up a I, bit. I'm working on it. Shut up and stop. <laughs> okay, Professionalism, so ladies and gentlemen. Starfall. Yeah, so Starfall. You know, it, it, it does like five damage, right? I'm not uh, familiar with uh, the druid cards. Oh, people, I finally got a Hearthstone beta, so I'm no longer the uh, only host that does not have <laughs> Hearthstone. Yay. It's okay. Next week we, we we're going to become a Yu-Gi-Oh podcast. <laughs> so uh, that's that's fine with Dan, me. Dan, you don't play that game, right? Yu-Gi-Oh. That was the first card game I ever played. Was Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, okay. So she probably has like stacks of decks. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, we we need to find another card game that all of us have played except for Talthar, basically. So we can. <laughs> Pokemon. I played Pokemon, I Pokemon once. I don't have any Pokemon cards once. now, but once I that Pokemon. counts, right? <laughs> Okay, shit. I, okay, no, no one cares about me being in a in a league and having like badges. It's awesome. Sure, <laughs> shut up! I'll, I'll be wherever I want. I won't be. I won't be. Con what camera's not lined up? My. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Technical difficulty. No, 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 Jan, you see the problem exists between the keyboard and the chair. Anyways, so, what the fuck were we talking about? Uh, well, we were waiting for you to stop being loud so I could talk about uh, the, 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 chain, the last change that I want to talk about. Okay, let's do that. The healing totem. I, uh... Excellent addition to the Shaman battle line has been nerfed greatly. It no longer heals your hero. So Goel will no longer benefit from the healing, like the plus one health at the end of every turn. I kind of thought that was bullshit. Yeah. No, it was it was awesome shit, is what it was. <laughs> Basically, if Dunn liked it, and then they took it away, he's very angry. <laughs> yes. They hated it. <laughs> Yay, they nerfed it. I got it, okay. So, the bug fix we're going to talk about is the Faceless Manipulator apparently was copying minions with buffs, and it wasn't ever supposed to do that. Or it uh, was incorrectly copying. They, were, they weren't uh, specific on what way the, there was. They just say it was incorrectly copying minions with buffs. So. Well, before it was copying minions, if you buffed them, I was using this in Limited a lot. People would drop a card, they'd buff it, a faceless manipulator copy their buffed card and make them cranky about it. Yeah. It's like, oh, you made Hogger a 10 10. Well, I'll take him. Thank you. Basically, yeah. So basically, what we're saying is now that they fixed faceless manipulator, take it out of all your decks. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> your card sucks now. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, it's still useful. It can still copy the, the card, and you can still do fun things with it. It's just not... You can't steal buffs Too bad anymore. you can't copy Jiraxis. I think it's only good in, in, with a lot of legendaries. Or in, like, so you can copy your own legendaries and... Uh, yeah, somebody did that with Sylvanas the other day. It kicked my ass. Um, I saw... I, I watched a game. It was Total Biscuit playing, and he played Baron Geddon. And then I think his opponent uh, also play Baron Geddon or uh, Faceless manipulated a Baron Geddon. So then he mind controlled that Baron Geddon and then he Faceless manipulated his own Baron Geddon. So he had three Baron Geddons. And Holy then the Baron Geddons exploded and killed all the other Baron Geddons. But then again, TB does have a deck that is, I believe it's 19 legendary cards. Yeah, he. Or, or no, he, he had did twenty. One. He did twenty legendary card deck. It's very gimmicky, but he's been playing with it and he's having lots of fun with it. So I guess that's all that matters. Jesus Christ! Also, that fucking son of a bitch with his twenty fucking legendaries. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. So, um, also, I apologize for calling Arena Limited. Limited is the. Magic the Gathering term for that format. Oh, is that what you were talking about? Limited yep. is, is it means arena, yeah. I didn't say anything. It was my bad. So, next we're going to talk about the annoying known issues that are currently buggy in Hearthstone. Do you have any off the top of your head done that have been annoying you? No, I'm pretty chill. Uh, it's been driving me crazy when you have to actually play a game or you know do a practice match before you get your daily quest oh you see I never finished my daily quest from the night before I just I was like oh, I'll do this tomorrow and then I'll do two daily quests even then it won't pop up until I've played a game yeah but I need to play a game because I've still got the quest from the day before oh so you don't yeah. care so I don't care no <laughs> He just stacks it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been noticing some issues with the game uh, just from playing it recently. So uh, one thing that's been happening is just sometimes it won't let me, like when I'm in my custom deck list, I'll be like, I want to edit this deck. It's the one oh, I just yeah, built. That, oh, and no, it won't I, let I, me do it. And I'm like... <laughs> and then you have to delete the deck and then... Or, or just sign out of the client and re-sign yeah, in. They so it, it's way easy just, just to client. delete the deck and then re yeah, the deck. Alright. It takes so long to actually get into the game. You know, like that little screen with the door yeah. that's shut. And then you have to wait for the little Hearthstone jingle. And then you have to wait for the dwarf to say whatever he says. Because he has a few. <laughs> Welcome to my has a few different. He has a few different sound bites that play there. Yeah. So, um, fuck that. It's make it, make it faster, shit. Blizzard. Or do what I do and just never close Hearthstone. <laughs> <laughs> Always have it open, and when you want to play alt tab it, and when you don't want to play alt tab out. I left Tropico running all night, and it froze my computer. Pretty sure that's why I was having issues here. So I don't know if you should well, shut that problem. down. No, it's okay. My machine has never let me down. <laughs> the trusty old mule. And uh, Talitha, you Not wanted to talk about that's... another bug? Oh yeah. So uh, there's a, an issue where uh, when you open a pack, the uh, sound will keep looping and never stop. Now, for those of you that enjoy the Hearthstone sounds, this could be very annoying because you like hearing the music. You don't want to just hear the uh, you know, exploding deck shat or pack shattering noise throughout the entirety of your time playing it. And I'm one of those people that sound bugs are actually really annoying to me, so... Personally, I don't want to ever have that happen. Can't say I've noticed, <laughs> but then I don't have the big YouTube monies to drop on uh, on the Hearthstone. I get, I think, um, two or three packs a week. I haven't experienced this one, but it would drive me nuts. Uh, I bought the big what? 40. <laughs> I bought a 40 when after the wipe, and my plan is now not to buy any more cards with the real money. 
Yeah. Until at least official live. Or like if they go, oh, expansion, new cards. Why? Why? Yeah. Because I've got real life things I've got to pay for. I've decided I'll buy at least a pack a month because it costs three bucks. Yeah. I have real life things I've got to pay for. Hmm. He needs needs that beverage. Yeah. My... He needs another pair of sunglasses. (laughs) Energy drink or... Suck. Another... You know, I've only four... Five pairs of sunglasses. I, I always need more sunglasses. <laughs> I'm a pretentious yeah. douche mug. So, um. I see. I see. But, yeah. But, All no, right. I haven't. I can't say I've noticed sound effect loops. I get that problem in way more often than I get it with uh, Hearthstone. Yeah. So to say I've never experienced it in Hearthstone, but I get it all the time in WoW, so... I've had my sound turned off the entire time in Hearthstone, but I get I still hear the Warlock sounds. It drives me nuts. One sec, so you've turned off all sounds. <laughs> and there's sound. The, and there's the still sound. sound. <laughs> <laughs> that, that can't be right, surely. <laughs> yeah, so it makes it more annoying. Because it's just playing, playing, and then sound. Alright, so since you had no complaints done, why don't you let us uh, read us the the blue post, the first half of it, the duplicate card part. Okay, uh, so the, the question that was, that was asked is, is there any value to having more than two of any card? Just an odd follow-up question here, but can you use the same card in multiple decks? I'm assuming that you could. For example, if I have only one Anixia, can I use it in every deck, or will it let me put it into one deck and then I have to swap it out into a second deck if I wanted? This gets to crafting. There's virtually nothing in this game about how this works, what you get out of it, etc. I'm wary about using it before I do reading outside the game, honest. I'm guessing that when I have seven of one card that I don't need five of them, I can turn them into dust. How do I turn dust into other cards? Can I only craft something I've already made? That's where I'm heading next, but trial and error when it comes to melting lots of cards doesn't give me warm fuzzies. So the blue response was basically regarding duplicate cards, you'll never need more than two of any card or one of a legendary. Those cards can be used in any deck and aren't restricted to one single deck. You can make nine different decks with the cards you have, and you won't have to swap cards out. Since you won't need more than two of each card, crafting allows you to disenchant a card disenchant a card into Arcane Dust, which you can use to craft other cards. You can make any card except basic cards that are earned through gameplay. You can even craft gold cards. And if you don't have the card, you can craft it in the crafting mode. Yeah. I, I really like how they've limited down to two, and you can disenchant the shitty cards you know you're never going to play. Yeah. Like druid cards. Like druid No, actually. <laughs> uh, like, like warlock cards. Aww. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 I plan to make one of every deck, just because I like all the different classes. I don't. I plan to, I plan to make like one rogue deck, one hunter deck, and then uh, my gimmicky druid deck, and then all the rest will be shaman decks. <laughs> Murloc Shaman deck. A Murloc Druid deck is currently a uh, Druid of the Murloc. Very successful. <laughs> Druid of the Murloc, as it is called, Jess. Jesus. Having a good deal of success with that. Because, like, with. So, okay, so I get, like, off topic, who gives a shit? I get, like, my <laughs> Innovate uh, free card plus two mana crystals for that turn. Uh, use that on turn two. I'm playing. Like three or four, mer- no, well, not four, two or three Murloc cards that turn, and then I follow up with like old Murkai. Yeah, it's good. Jerk. And like the deck has no taunt in it, Jeez. apart from apart from the uh, the Druid card that's like play a cat with charge or a bear. Yeah, with deck taunt. Deck annoys me. I don't like it. Not because I can't beat it, it just, in general, it annoys me. 
good. <laughs> <laughs> deal three damage to a minion or deal one damage and draw a card. That's really good against Murlocs. Yeah, it is. But it's also quite good to get the Murlocs. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> well, that was my tangent. Tangent yeah. number one for the show. Right then. So now we have the, a list they came out with of the top ranked players. We're not going to go over all 50. Nobody wants to hear us do that. But, uh, I do. <laughs> I already told you most of them. No, you only told me the top ten, most of them. You told me ten. That's a fifth of them. It's not most. <laughs> well, Telthar is now going to tell everybody else the top three. All right, so number three, who I give best name award, is Don't Hex Me Bro. Number two is Pain God. And number one is Vi. And keep in mind, these are only for the uh, North American regions or those people who are in the uh, American Americas, as they call it. Um, so not the EU. They have a separate list for that. Which apparently we don't care about. Because nope. Talthar, Talthar did not provide us with that list for <laughs> us to enlighten you as to the best European streamers. No, I could look it up really quick. Uh, let's not. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so European homies, you can send your hate mail to Jan and uh, Talfa. Yes, you can do that. Send me all your hate mail. Put it in the comments. Nobody likes me anyways. That's okay, because we're going to break. Right, Rioris? These days, it seems like free-to-play is the only way for new devs to enter the scene and old ones to relive their former glory. Is free-to-play the apocalypse of the AAA title, or the dawn of a new, simpler, and more casual age of gaming? We're here to help separate the good from the bad and steer you through this bombardment of titles. This is Free-to-Play Thursday. I told I told 
that you're not ready, but he's gonna do it anyways. <laughs> yeah, he said he doesn't care. Are we back? I'm gonna assume that we're back and just act as if we are. So, it's me, it's me, it's MPD, and we are back. We're back from our little break. I am at the window, checking for the done signal, because my city needs me to play a children's card game. So while I do that, I hand it to my wonderful co-host to do our advertisement segment. We just did that. Did we? Yeah. We didn't do that before the show, did we? That was the break. Before the... Oh, shit, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, I thought we were going to talk about it. No. Just... Oh, fuck. Well, whatever's next, then talk about that. <laughs> this we is can. as far as it... We can is... without you! We're on to the main topic. How to You're play the only road. one that cares. We need oh. you, Dunn. <laughs> Done signal. Flash money everywhere. <laughs> okay, rogues. This is something that is relevant to my interest. How to play a rogue. Where to begin? Where to begin? Get all the low-cost <laughs> cards. All the low-cost cards. Basically, in the rogue deck, you're... what you're aiming for is as many low-cost cards as you can have in your hand at, at any given moment of time. Because uh, you get to do fun stuff like, let's play Backstab. It's a free card. It costs absolutely nothing. It does two damage to an undamaged minion. So a slight nerf on what it used to be, which was just two damage to a minion. No matter how damaged they were or were not. Mm -hmm. But in playing that, you trigger the Rogue Core mechanic, which is the combo point system. So if you play one card and then play another card, which in its text description has combo and then an effect like defies gang leader if he is played as a combo so like after another card he will summon an additional minion that sort of and there's some cool emotes where the gang leader calls you a scrub and then the bandit that he also summon tells you to beat it it's fun but basically, you want as many cheap cards as you can, so you can pull off these cost-effective combos, and all the rogue cards are good. There's not a bad one. Mm -hmm. And also, this builds up nicely to the class-only legendary, which is Edward Van Cleef, who gains, is it plus one attack or plus two attack, plus one health for every card that was played before him in that turn. And he only costs three himself. So by the time you're at like eight mana crystals, you can play, you can just chain card, cheap card, cheap card, cheap card. Edward Van Cleef and you've got like a 10-10 at the end of it. I haven't played enough cheap cards in this description, but you, you follow what I'm on about. Yeah, I mean, there's like a Viserate, there's a uh, Sap is two mana, that's not as cheap, but... Oh, but Sap, it's very good. Yeah, I mean, there's lots of... Uh, different things. I mean, you can even pop your own minion back to your hand. It's like Shadow you Step, right? Uh, you, you could use it like Shadow Step, but Shadow Step is free and reduces the cost of the minion when it's next played by two mana. Mm -hmm. So, so you which, combo which, it even more. Yeah, which is a, a fun combo in itself. Uh, like, you can pull out amazing turns like uh, Backstab, Defiers, Gang Leader, Shadow step that defies gang leader. Play him again for nothing because he only costs two. And then you've got a defies gang gang leader, two defies bandits, and you've spent a total of two mana. So basically, you summon three dudes for the cost of two mana and three cards. Yep. And it's you good. Dealt two damage. Okay. And you dealt two damage to an undamaged minion. But on top of that, like, is, rogues, they do, like, their cheap cards. Is there anything to avoid? Uh, in the rogue deck? Yes. Combinations you don't want to use, things you've seen people do badly? So, things I have done badly. You have never played a rogue? Oh, <laughs> uh, no. I, I've played a rogue. Just not since the, uh... Oh, the the wipe. Well, that's alright. I know, I know well, how I to work. I was. Uh, uh, I, 
How far are you? Oh. You actually um, uh, unlock the red dice so you can fly around with it yeah. a bit, didn't you? Yeah, it's, um, I would say the problem with, the only problem is trying to use, like, every single rogue card. Like, I was like, I have to have two assassinates, I have to have two, like, saps, I have to have two of everything, and I ended up And then not... you realized, you're like, oh, where are... Yeah, <laughs> where's where all I... the minions at? Um, okay, and it was just, it wasn't that good. Um, I definitely think if you're going for a more aggressive rogue, you want to have, like, Assassin's Blade and Poison, but, um, if you're or not going... Or Blade. Yeah, I'm Perdition's Blade. I don't have that one yet, but yeah, it's it depends if you want to go like with a weapon heavy rogue or if you want to go more of like a uh, combo creature type rogue. So I think uh, also um, SI Seven Agent is a very good rogue card. He's yeah. a three three for three, and if played as a combo, he does two damage. That's that's not bad. The problem I found with my rogue deck when I used to play uh, pre wipe is I had a lot of cheap cards, and like I'd get one turn, and I'd be like, yes, I can play this card, and then that will trigger this combo, and then I'll use head crack, and it will return to my hand after the turn's <laughs> over, because it's combo. But then I realize at the end of the turn, I've got head crack and like Mogish and Warrior in my hand. I'm like, where did my where did my hand go? I had eight cards. Yeah. And especially if they heal, you're just like, um... Um, please... Yay! <laughs> One sec. Why can I? Oh, of course, because uh, I was about to say, why can I not craft head crack? I was just checking the price. It must be a basic card that you unlock as you level the rogue deck. But is it? Okay, I'm being told it's a rare. I can't see it in. Oh, oh no, I do have a head crack. That's why I can't craft. Um, I was looking for the grey deck cards. So I was like, where's head crack? I've got one. It's fine. Yeah, that's a really good card. I was worried I didn't have my head crack. But yeah, uh, in in terms of the basic cards, the neutral cards rather, it synergizes quite well with the uh, pirate type card. Uh, basically, with the the neutral minions, you've got neutral minions, and then you've got some cards that are marked as Murlocs, which we all know about the Murloc Rush. But you've also got pirates. And the pirates, they're really good for rogues. They're also quite good for warriors as well. They scale very well with if you're holding a weapon. And the yeah. rogue is the only class in the game that it, our hero power is create a weapon. Yeah. So you, if you need a weapon, you can always have one. It's good. I, I like yeah, not, I, that I I'm, guess... not that I'm that hep uh, weapon heavy with my rogue builds, but it is an option if that's what you want to do. If you prefer that style of play, and the synergy is quite good, so it's available for you. Yeah, uh, that's that's my very brief, unguided overlook on rogues. <laughs> if, if there's anything in particular you would like to sort of steer me in a certain direction with some questions about rogues or are we done um i don't have any questions i i don't like rogues they they make me upset i don't like you Same you're reason. not a rogue anymore <laughs> he still no, has uh, the heart no he was just like no i don't play rogue i don't know what you're talking about but he wants to play one though <laughs> i want to play one uh, i want to play one i always want to play a rogue in world warcraft and never manage it for some reason but what I want to play is pre-wipe rogue. Back when it was overpowered. Back when it was OP, yeah. <laughs> and Edward Van Cleef had stealth. Uh, does he not have stealth anymore? Nope, he doesn't. What? That was that, one of the that things was, they did. That was, that was the best part. <laughs> yeah, he was like, yeah, my 10-10 is safe. From okay, yes, his stats are gained to plus 2, plus 2 for each card played earlier that turn. He costs 3 mana and he starts at 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, I think wasn't it like one one, but he had stealth. Yes, it was. All right, so now we're going to move on to our tip of the week, which is crafting. Pretty much based off of the confusion some people seem to have with the crafting system. Dunn, how do you choose which cards to craft? I uh, I do it the, the dumbest way possible. 
<laughs> and when I'm when I'm streaming, right, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna craft a legendary card. Uh, stream, what do you think? Death and then people are like, oh, Deathwing, and then Rewars is like, no, build Jacera. And then someone in the chat said, build Alex Straza. And I was like, I will build Alex Straza. And then I made Alex Straza. And now I'm sort of like, oh, well. Uh, she's good at your enemies. Like, she's really okay. good at stacking stuff. Like She's okay. But um, one, one legendary, because like, everyone wants the legendaries. It's just like the real World of Warcraft. Got to get them oranges. But one card I would definitely recommend uh, that you craft soon is Nat Pagel. Because he is amazing. Yeah. What about you, yeah. Talthar? How do you decide what to make? Um. Well, like I was making more common cards uh, today, just because I was like, "Hmm, I need this card," and it only cost me like eighty or something dust, or like forty-five dust to craft. So I was like, "I'll do that," as opposed to I'm going to save up for a legendary, which at some point I know I will try to do. But mostly, it's if I don't have something for my deck that I need, that's what I decide on uh, what to craft. Like, I wanted, I only had one at this rate, so I crafted a second one because I really like it. So it's uh, more out of Desi, I guess. Mm -hmm. That's how I do it. What I need next in the deck, like right now I'm saving up for a Shadow Form for my Priest deck. Get Arcanine Soul ton. Priest instead. What? Arcanine Soul Priest. Really? I think that's... Yeah, one sec, where is he? Uh, Arcanine Soul Priest is uncommon. Your cards and powers that restore health now deal damage yeah. instead. The, I, have so a, I have a problem with that. Because um, I rely so heavily on some healing spells that it nullifies a lot of the cards in my deck. It makes me hurt myself. Well, ah, uh, yeah, okay. Whereas yeah. Shadow Form just changes your... Your your power. Your power. Yeah. Now, Arcanine Soul Priest, so good. I like the on it as well. Because mm -hmm. I would totally hold you Nova myself to death. Okay. Use, your <laughs> you, use your Holy Novas first, and then Arcanine Soul Priest. Well, what if I don't even have it in my hand? Well, it's only a 3-5. It, it could die. <laughs> Sui suicide it. Our, basically, our tip to you is, first off, base it on how much dust you have and how and what you want. Do you want a legendary? Do you want a better overall deck? What is No, you want the legendary people. <laughs> what is important to you? Legendaries. <laughs> Don't you know the more legendaries you have, the more gooder you are at this game? <laughs> gooder. You mean, you mean yes. the worse shit your deck is? I stand by what I said. The more gooder you are at this game. <laughs> <laughs> I also uh, personally, I also try to buy, build the commons first, and move on to later cards. But get all the gooder cards, all the gooder cards. Yes, sir. Now, now you see, I don't. I've I've sort of sworn off arena because I don't like it. Mm -hmm. So any gold I get is spent on buying packs. And I'll get I'll get the common cards by opening packs. Yeah. So I, I mean, can save my gold for my legend. I do need a demolisher. So that, that's that's rare. So that's okay. I don't know. You build what you want, basically. Dust is a, it's a resource that it might take you a while to gain. It is free, and eventually you're gonna have the dust for whatever you want. So just make whatever you want. It is kind of nice being able to craft your own cards as well, as opposed to like in real life card games, you're like, I want this card, but I have to either open it in a pack or buy it or trade for it. Whereas Hearthstone, or like, like hey, what I'll they did back it. in the back in, uh, I know it was big in Yu-Gi-Oh back in the day. It's like I'm gonna get a fake god card, yeah, and some just clown prints out the 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 god card like card face, and then well, goes I, uh, like a shit Yu-Gi-Oh card. So it's that, got the. A, it's a proxy, and I, and I have the. There were like four versions of those god cards. I got the ones that they just had the flavor text, and then they had the colored back. So if you wanted to play with them, you had to. You uh, them. You gotta get yeah. sleeves. Yeah. So uh, that was that was fun. 
when I was younger. It's like, you can't use it, it has a red back. <laughs> but I mean, what do you guys think about like crafting golds now? You could craft them before. I didn't know that. Yeah, you could craft golds before. They were just a bit difficult to find. One thing about them. I said the... you could craft golds before. Yes. I didn't know that. They were, again, they were just a bit difficult to find. Now yes. you can click show only golden cards and it shows all of the cards. Yeah, can't you make a gold out of like every card? Yeah, before, that's true. Before you couldn't make golds of every card. I believe it was the blues and above. Mm -hmm. I'm not certain. So there's that one person that just wants to be like, look at my bling and they play. Basically, the guy who bought uh, 200 cards and he's really bored and he's like, I have all this dust and nothing to use it on. Look, this one's gold. gold. Cards. <laughs> Look, this one's gold. Yeah, exactly. Okay, um, on a related note, what do you think, like, you open a pack, you get a gold card, do you get excited? Yeah, it's worth a lot of dust. Yeah, that's what I was that, going to say. Yeah, that's, that's why I get excited. I'm like, gold card, yes. I can disenchant this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and build the card and something else. Admittedly, I did get two uh, Dark Iron Dwarfs in gold, which is actually a card I use, and I kept it as a gold card. I've got a gold flesh eating gold. Nice. That's gold Deathwing because... No, that, if I got a gold legendary, I'd disenchant it. Yeah, I know. That would be worth so much to us. Um, well, then maybe not, because I forgot the disenchanting system is fucked up. So if it got me 1,600 dust, I'd disenchant it. Our producer is telling us it does disenchant into 1,600 dust, so I would disenchant it. Yeah, so you could make another legendary. <laughs> exactly. So you could make the same legendary. Probably oh, okay. If the legendary I really wanted, like if it was Velen, then I'd probably leave it gold. gold. But most likely, it'd be a legendary I didn't want. Like Hogger. No, I'd keep Hogger. Actually, I like Hogger. Gold Hogger. I would keep Gold Hogger because Hogger would work really well in most decks. He's a good card. I wish I'd made Hogger instead of goddamn Alex Straza. But the game's <laughs> not going anywhere. Eventually, I will have every card. This is true. It is yeah. just a matter of time. Maybe at some point they'll fix the uh, dust amount so it's more likely. No, eventually you're going to have every card. Yeah. So, I might make all the gold Marlocks. Yeah. One thing about crafting is I really wish they'd put in a, for the all sets, if you could choose by common or rare or legendary like that instead of having to search you can um uh, how? oh I no uh, if, if, how? if you check. type legendary in the search bar down at the bottom it shows you oh. only legendary cards i didn't yeah. realize that that's awesome okay and i i i don't assume if you that's uh yeah if you do rare it does the same it shows thing. only rare cards yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just doing it now I'm not yep. saying I'm playing Hearthstone while talking about Hearthstone on the Hearthstone uh, podcast, but because I'm not, <laughs> I'm just looking at my collection and confirming like the costs of things. I'm not saying that I opened Hearthstone because Dunn said he had his Hearthstone open. No, I've been in Hearthstone the whole time. I'm always in Hearthstone when we are doing this podcast, so I can look at the cards as we talk yeah. about them, because, you know, shit is difficult for the distracted podcaster, Stoppy Award winner. Yeah. <laughs> you earned that, Jan. Alright, so. That's it for the Hearthstone show. Decked out. Thank you for joining us. We're going to end a little early today because we have no giveaway. Yep. We're so sad. Um. If you would like to email us and, you know, give us a Q&A question about Hearthstone. Any question you'd like to answer about Hearthstone. We are deckedoutpodcast at gmail.com. You can also send a Twitter to me or Telfar. And then you can find us on thesmokinggamer.com in the forums Decked Out, where you can leave your questions. There's one from Thread. Yes, we check it, even though it's like three pages long. We do know which ones are old and new. 
please. Because the forum shows us the date it was posted. <laughs> please make making that Gmail account worth it. Just do it. So email us, Twitter us, get on the forums, contact us. We want to know what you have to say. But I am on Twitter at Janelle5, J-N-A-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E and the number 5. I am on Twitter at, at Telthar10, T-A-L-T-H-A-R-1-0, the numbers. My, my, my Twitter doesn't have a number, but I am the Dunder King. <laughs> Yay. We should really have our Twitters in the description. We'll talk about that after the show and not on the show. Join us next week. We will be back at uh, 7, because that's when we're supposed to start, on Tuesday. In the meantime, you can check out another Smoking Gamer podcast. We recommend Doom from the Start, which is a pen and paper RPG set in the Firefly universe. Of where... which you are the star. <laughs> Such <laughs> bullshit. Don't say things like that. The star and the GM. <laughs> no, I'm just the GM. I am the GM. We have also Dunn and Howitzer, Necroxis, and Snapple Monkey. Oh, Howitzer might... will be. Howitzer is there some of the time. What about Rioris? And Rioris. I'm sorry, Rioris. <laughs> I'm um, sorry. And, <laughs> and if, that, uh, if that doesn't appeal to you, still watch it anyway, but just think of it as a social experiment to see how far we can push Jan with our antics before she just has a meltdown and, and just breaks. One of these days, the show's going to end because I hung up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's all good no. fun. We have fun. <laughs> I have fun. You have fun. <laughs> I have fun. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Good night.